Hello friends and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Encouragement for today. Rays of Hope coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. Friend, let me invite you today to pick up your Bibles and turn with me to Psalm 52. Today I want us to look at verse number 8 as a text verse of Scripture. Psalm 52, verse 8. The Bible says here, But I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. And friends, I pray that God would add His blessings to the reading of that wonderful word. Let me invite you to get that good fresh cup of hot coffee. Sit with me for just a moment. And let's have an encounter with God and His precious Word on this beautiful day. My goodness, what better way to start a brand new day? Fresh coffee and a fresh Word from God. You know, friend, whenever I think about this particular text of Scripture, I am reminded that our God is our helper. Our God is truly our helper. Uh, turn to your Bible and read the wonderful stories of men who were alone in godly surroundings, but who by the help and presence of the living God made a marvelous contribution to their own lives. I think of Joseph. Joseph was surrounded by sin in Egypt. His master's wife tried to seduce him. He was tested by being put into a prison, but through it all he trusted in God and he sought to know and to do God's precious will. And he stands today as a wonderful example of the keeping and the strengthening power of God in the heart of a man who believed in him. Friend, I'm telling you that our God is our helper to carry us through this life that we live. And if we'll just trust him, he'll carry us a long life's way. Think about that and pray with me. Father, we thank you so much for this powerful devotion. And we're grateful for the man Joseph and the life that he lived, even in the midst of turmoil and trial. He trusted you to be his helper, and you were his helper. God, I know that you are our helper as well. May we have the same trust and faith in you that Joseph had. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friend, I pray the devotion's been a blessing to you today, and I pray that you have a wonderful and a blessed day. Remember, your life's the only Bible some will ever read, so let others see Jesus Christ in you. Again, God bless you. Have a wonderful day.